Hey everybody, welcome to the No DQ Twitch channel. This is my first official Twitch stream and I will be doing something different from what I normally do. I will be talking about video games. I will be talking about No DQ CAW, the wrestling fantasy video game league that I produced from 2004 to 2008. And then there was a comeback in 2019, which was produced by Wade Needham of ringscoops.com. Wade was actually the reason that I wanted to do a video game fantasy league. Wade had posted something to his website, which was world-wrestling.net back in late 2003. I had just gotten a capture card on my computer and I made some creative wrestlers for the WrestleMania 19 video game on GameCube. And I made Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, and I made some, some music videos with them. I had Final Cut Pro and I had the capture card. So I put the footage in and I made these little music videos. I uploaded them to my website, nodq.com, this was pre-YouTube, and people loved the videos. People demanded more. So I had the idea, and I pretty much got this from Wade, of actually putting these guys in matches and uploading the matches to the website. I was shocked at how much people loved watching these matches, and it just grew from there. I did what was called a mega event, ba basically a pay-per-view. And I had five matches. Wade did color commentary for these matches and it just blew up. Like hundreds of people were commenting on it and talking about the matches like it was an actual wrestling promotion. And I just kept going. My creative juices were flowing. I was doing all of these different pay-per-view events, mega events and creating all sorts of different characters. Eventually, I got a bit burned out on it, but in 2008, I decided for NoDQ.com's 10-year anniversary at the time. Yeah, 2008 was the 10-year anniversary of the site. I've been doing this for quite a while. It was the 10-year anniversary, and I decided to do a NoDQ CAW event, bring it back, and... The event was called Bragging Rights. No titles on the line, just Bragging Rights. And a year later, WWE had an event called Bragging Rights. Coincidence? Who knows? Also, another funny trivia note is the first No DQ CAW event was called Impact. And it was created in February 2004. About four months later, TNA had a show called Impact. Again, was it a coincidence? Who knows? But No DQ CAW was very popular. Tonight, I am going to be playing the event bragging rights for you guys from 2008. And what I'll be doing is I'll go match by match. And in between the matches, I will come back here and I will give my thoughts on each match and segment. Give a little bit of commentary, if you will. Shout out to Mike B, who is here in the chat room. I'm not sure how many people will watch this live. Probably not many, but I'm hopeful that word of mouth will spread and people will watch this on demand and start following the No DQ Twitch account. I hope to be able to do more videos like this in the future, but enough of my talking. Let's get to the No DQ bragging rights event. Stand by. It's NoDQ.com's 10th anniversary, and tonight, NoDQ CAW presents Bragging Rights. A mini tournament will take place. The mini tournament will feature four types of matches that have never taken place before in the history of NoDQ CAW. The final four will qualify to take place in the final match from hell. No titles are on the line tonight 
as it is all about the bragging rights. Tell you one thing, Bobby Spade. This is it. This is our first match here. We have Jason Voorhees as Captain Jack Sparrow on the DDT there. This is what, what Aaron Rift calls a walk the plank match. And it's the only way to win, you have to throw your opponent off this plank, Bobby. Hey, don't throw him off the plank. That's gonna be hit that heavy, heavy devastation. Jason Voorhees did got knocked down almost, but this is Jason Voorhees here. He's got Captain Jack up now. And, ah, Jesus Christ! He just slammed him down with that takedown there. He picked him up like an Alabama slam. Alabama Bobby. slam like a good old high call Hollies to be taking all the Chavas and popping them out. Captain Jack now back up to his feet. He's got look at that arm ringer into a side shuffle kick right to the face. More like the mask, but there you go. Captain Jack now. He's got what looks like to be a sledgehammer all right across the mask of Jason Voorhees. Not a whole lot of give there with that mask, and he's just repeatedly assaulting That's him. not there. a whole lot of give. That mask is, is made out of out of metal, but it can bend with the shots of the sledgehammer. Well, and now Jason Voorhees with the hammer, oh, right to the face of Captain that Jack. That mask was made out of that metal that's up in space with Jason X. I'll tell you that much. I'm just saying. See, Jason Voorhees now. And another takedown there by Jason Voorhees. This is just pure carnage here. Indeed. You know, later on tonight as well in this little mini tournament, we have Mr. Clean's going to be taking on the Joker. Mr. Clean! In a construction zone match. The winner must grab the chest at the uh, top of the construction zone to win the match there. Look at this double underhook suplex by Captain Jack. Form Both these guys, former no DQ seem to be champions here. Hey, Captain Jack Sparrow. We also got Superman taking on Freddy Krueger. That's going to be a damn good match day. Escape the horror match. The winner must, well, escape the, the harbor. Uh, yeah, escape the harbor. Hey, so, you're right. My bad. Hey, escape uh, the harbor, not the horror. Anyway, Bobby, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll let you announce what this last match is going to be of the tournament. Well, thank here. you very much for letting me speak. Link and Sagat are going to be in a car smash challenge. The winner must smash his opponent into a car more times than his opponent before the time is up. And, of course, all four guys, they're going to go into this thing. And the, the, the final match is going to be a hell in the cell match here tonight. Jason Voorhees, no, wait, Captain Jack has got Jason now. There's a DDT, like an even flow type DDT. Even Sparrow flow. is hulking up. And well, I wasn't here during the time Sparrow was uh, in his prime in ODQ CW. I don't know what he calls that finishing move, but it was like a rocker dropper. Hey, hey, it's called a rocker dropper. Now drop. Sparrow with Jason Voorhees. Oh, Jason picks him up and he slams him down onto the plank. Remember, to win this match, you must throw your opponent off yeah. the plank. Say the rules again. You're going to have to say it a couple times. Jason now with Sparrow. He's got him with a choke. He's going to pick him up here. <laughs> and there's the Crystal Link Slam. He got him down with authority. Jason Voorhees needs to pick him back up to a vertical base to eliminate him. And he throws him. And wait a minute. Oh, there it is. It's it. Jason Voorhees has won it this match. It. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Voorhees has won the Walk the Plank match. We'll advance to the final match, as Bobby pointed out earlier. We are back. So that was the first match of Bragging Rights. Again, it was WrestleMania 19 on GameCube. I actually switched to Day of Reckoning in 2004, towards the end of the year when that game came out. But... WrestleMania 19 always held a special place in my heart, and I loved the, the um, mode that you had where you could fight in different places like the harbor, the battle mode that they had. I, I thought it was a nice change of pace from actually doing matches in the ring. I know it wasn't the most popular feature in a WWE video game, but I really enjoyed it. I loved the gameplay of WrestleMania 19. It was so much fun. And we got ring scoops in the chat room. Wade himself is here. Make sure you guys follow him, ringscoops.com. 
Wade did great j job with the commentary. And Bobby Spade was the color commentator, which was Wade's alter ego, Bobby Spade. A little bit of comic relief. Wade would do the serious play-by-play, -play, and Bobby would do the color commentary. Anyways, this little mini tournament continued. We'll go ahead and play the second match of the tournament, and then I'll be back for some more discussion. It'll be a hell in a hey, cell wait. match. But here we go, Mr. Clean hey. and the Joker in the construction zone match. To win the match, wow. To win the match, you must grab the chest at the top of the hey, construction have zone. I want to see you in a, in a walk the plank Mr. match. Mr. Clean, a legend here in no DQ CAW. I think a lot of people out there would like that. <laughs> Wade did him in a walk the plank match, eh? Anyway. Ah, oh, jeez. He takes him down. And now the Joker up to his feet. He has got Mr. Clean an Irish whip. No, and he brings him back. Hits him with a hey. short clothesline. Short clothesline. Like the old Iron Sheik. And I don't know where the hell the Joker got that big crate. He's the Joker. He can pull out of anywhere. But he's going to set he's it up over there. He's rabbit. It's clean taunting. Come charging in. No, he ducks the, the clothesline there. And Mr. Clean with the Joker. Irish Whip brings him around. Picks him up on oh, a flapjack. Like oh, he's nicely done. Like a one-man gang up in this... And this bitch. Uh, Where are these getting these weapons and they're just chucking them off the stage? And there's a sledgehammer. And now he's got a, a an old hey, potter. You know ah. a lot about pot. Hey, where's oh the Joker? My God. Where is where's the, the Joker? Joker? Oh, there he is. There he, hey. And now he's got the statue. Oh, he throws it. Oh, he, he, uh, he, he caught he that. Caught oh. What is oh. that? It's a little statue of Buddha. Buddha. Before the match, I was seeing the Joker was rubbing your belly, Wade. Trying to get some good luck for the match here. DDT there by yeah, Mr. Oil. Clean. Barrel oil there. No, I just tried to go for the cover. And I've just been stuttering over my words all night so Man, far, Spade. That, that means you're going to have a stroke soon. But I'll tell you this. Look at look at this, Mr. Clean. What is Mr. Clean going to do clean, here? The oh, the, the cleaning press. Un-freaking-believable. The distance and the air that he got on the, the the cleaning press there. That was a big jump there. And now he hits a DDT. This is all over for the Joker. He is gonna I be don't eliminated agree here. With you, but I think uh, I don't know if he can. I think you're come right on this one. This. I think the Joker's days are done there in the match. Mr. Clean's just gotta get to the top, get that box. He's gonna win the match here. Construction zone match. Joker and Mr. Clean climbing on top of this building here. There you see that. On this there you see that box zone. there. The winner's got to get that box. They're gonna win the damn thing. He's dragging him over. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, he launches him, but he, he holds on, and now he's trying to stomp away on Mr. Clean. Stomping away again. Oh no. Oh no. And the Joker here. No, wait a minute, Mr. Clean, with the Joker. On a bitch hey, slap. Bitch for a bitch. Mr. Clean here. Mr. Clean now, he's got the Joker. And there's the clean cut. Unbelievable. He has won the no DQ title so many times in the past with a clean hey, cut. I was there. I, I witnessed it all with you. Oh, and he missed with the bulldog attempt. And the Joker now with Mr. Clean. He throws him over there. Wait a minute now. He's just stomping away as he holds on for dear life. Just stomping at him. Mr. Clean ain't going nowhere. Sing with me. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. The Joker desperately trying to get rid of Mr. Clean so he can get the chest here at the top of the construction zone. Mr. Clean likes to fight clean, but sometimes... Mr. Clean just tosses sometimes he's him gotta like fight nothing. dirty. You can do it, Mr. Clean. I know you can. And now, oh, wait a minute, that hip toss, but he held on. Mr. Clean hulking up. He's not hulking up, he's cleaning up. Hey, he tried to go for it. He was going to go for that clean cut again for the Joker. Look at that, he's having a good time here. Ahaha, ah, the Joker, a baby. Good time. You no, know, well, the Joker, he's just got too many on him. 
And now whatever he turns around. What, what the hell? Oh! Wait a minute. Hey! Look at that! The butt bomb! The joke hey, of the butt, butt bomb. bomb! And I thought my jokes were bad. Where's my pencil? The Joker with Mr. Clean, and Give he throws him to nothing, Got it. and the Joker gets it. Got it. The Joker wins the construction zone match here. He got to the top, he got the chest. Eh, I don't like that my man, Mr. Clean, lost the match, but the... We are back. So again, that was the revenge mode. And I should note, I'm not sure if a lot of people knew about this, but I was actually, for the most part, and including in that match, I was controlling both characters in, in a one-on-one -on -one match. Trying to do four, it's you know impossible. But I somehow managed to perfect the art of using two controllers at once so I could totally control how I wanted the match to go. And in that instance, I wanted... Mr. Clean to have a good showing before losing. So he dominated most of it, and the Joker was able to make the comeback and win at the end. The Joker was not the original Joker in ODQCAW. Uh, earlier, the Joker had been based off of the, the classic Joker look from the, um, might have been the cartoon series, I'm not sure, but it was, it was more of the cartoon-like Joker. And obviously that one was made to look like the Heath Ledger Joker. This was 2008. So I decided to remake the Joker to look like the, the Dark Knight version of the Joker, uh, the Heath, Leather, Heath Ledger version. Uh, so yeah, that was interesting to watch. This is the first time I've been watching these matches in, in well over a decade. Like it, it has been a very long time and it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun to watch back on it and the nostalgia uh, definitely a, a fun period producing these matches. So enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and move on to the next segment. Now we're up to our, our next match. It's the Escape the Harbor match. The winner must well escape the harbor. Freddy Krueger and Superman. Superman in the black, obviously. Superman now with Freddy. What's he going to do here? Winds it up and a big right hand. I would call him the big blue Boy Scout, but he ain't wearing blue, he's wearing black. There's Ben Affleck Superman. Which is ironic because Ben Affleck later on, after the whole thing with no DQ CW as Superman and Ben Affleck, he went on to star in Hollywood Land where he George played Reeves. George Reeves. Reeves. George Reeves. For those of you who don't know who George Reeves is, he played Superman in the TV show in the 1950s. Jeez. Oh, DDT on the cinder block. That was crazy. Freddy now with Superman. He's got him up. And a fallaway slam almost onto that oil tanker. Rift going no expense at this show. I mean, he's, he's pulling out all expenses. The, the, the price of, of, of oil is like $200 a barrel. See a bunch of barrels on this yeah, harbor here. A lot here. of oil and gasoline up in this. By the way, I, it's not traditional no DQ CNW commentary without me plugging one of my websites. Oh, if you guys want, check out wadeneedum.com. There's Slamming Jam up on there. Uh, there's On Air. All kinds of cool stuff. Check it out. wadeneedum.com. That's W-A-D-E-N-E-E-D-H-A-M. Hopefully Riff puts up. A link put on the post when he posts this up. You don't need a plug. But uh, anyway, that's it for the, the plug. Quick shout out, real quick, to Stephen White, though. I know Stephen White's probably watching this. And Freddie, no, wait a minute. Ah! Freddy Krueger with the shovel now. He's just choking Superman. They're making their way to the top of this harbor here. Freddy just backing up. Superman chasing them. They're up here at the top. There's a sledgehammer. Who would leave a sledgehammer on the top of a harbor? And Freddy. Wait a minute. Oh. 
Superman, no, wait, it's ready. Look at that. He's got the Iron Claw. He has got the Iron Claw attached to the face of Superman, to the Chrome Dome. Jeez, and he's busted him open. Look at that. It looks strawberry like somebody jelly. broke a bottle of yes. oh, strawberry jelly. I know all your lines. And Freddy, happy. Look at that. We got your flanges. Freddy now drops down to the bottom. And he is Freddy. He is buffing. He is the stuff. Look at that, baby. Freddy now with a big crate running up the stairs to Superman. He's got the crate. He's carrying it up there. He's got that crate set up. Oh, and Superman <laughs> comes in with a speeding bullet. Out of nowhere, there's a speeding bullet. That was a nice bullet. maneuver there. And now he's got Freddy. He's going to set him up here. It's the S5. Yes, he connected with it. He turned him around and he spun him. Tell the devastating maneuver of that move there. Well, that move there, I've, I've taken that move before, and it's not very delightful. I'll tell you that. He all the strength to pick you up, then he spins you around, and you get knocked down. Superman now with that crate. He is running up. Running up the stairs. His exercise, what you need to be doing. Oh, wait a minute. Wait till I go behind it. It's failed attempt. Epic fail. And Superman throws Freddy, but no, oh, Freddy holds on. Isn't it ironic? All the no DQ guys got great grip. Freddy back up to his feet. No, wait a minute. Superman now with Freddy again. Tosses him. Oh, he didn't think he broke his neck. He pulled an angle. Broke his freaking neck. Hey, that was stupid. Superman's going to escape this harbor here. Escape. And yes, he did. He did. Superman, your winner. Busted he face does, and everything. He does. Up next, we got Lincoln Sagat. It's going to be a car smash challenge. Winner must smash his opponent car more times than the opponent for the time's up. That one was really fun. Again, I, I used those revenge mode matches, and those ones had never been used before. So for this event, I had to come up with something, hence the escape the harbor and walk the plank because of Captain Jack Sparrow. I just wanted to say I really loved the weapons in WrestleMania 19 breaking things over your opponent's head, like the crates and the pottery and the cinder blocks. They had weapons in Day of Reckoning, but not those weapons that broke like that. And I, I just enjoyed it. There were so many different weapons you could use in WrestleMania 19. And it was just a lot of fun to DDT somebody onto a cinder block and have it break. Like I, I thought it was badass. Anyways, we now move on to the Fourth and final match to determine the, the four participants of the final match from hell. So let's go ahead and get that playing. And by the way, shout out to Colin Andrew and, of course, Mike B., who's in the chat room. I appreciate it, guys, tuning in live for the very first No DQ Twitch stream. I will remember you guys that you were the first ones. When this, when this channel is the biggest channel in Twitch, well... Maybe not the biggest, but when it's having thousands of viewers one day, I'll remember you guys were the first to tune in for this new experimental project of mine. Anyways, enough of my talk. Let's go ahead and get to that fourth and final qualifying tournament match. Sagat and Link... Surprised Link didn't revert to the Las Vegas Link for this matchup. And they're just fighting each other up right here in the DDT by Link. There's that crate that we've been seeing all night. That's the guy just stole it from him. And he busts it upside its head. And he throws him into that car, and that car is already being destroyed here. We got now. What's he gonna do? There's a big super kick. Super kick like Shawn Michaels. I think I'm box of nerds while I do commentary. I said you are a nerd. You guys go to Amazon. You can get a big box of nerds for like twenty bucks. It's the only guy I know that talks oh. about food. C A W. Sagat so just just tossed Link onto that limo. Sagat so now with Link. 
He's gonna take him up. Smash. Gonna put the ah! Got him. And again. You know what? I'm gonna do commentary while oh, you. Oh, wait a minute. Smash. I misread the. Ah, there it is. The rules that Rift set up for me here. They always misread everything. The winner must smash his opponent into a car more times than his, his other opponent by the time the time's up. You're gonna eat and not the commentary. I thought they had to beat it. the crap out of each other's cars. It's like guy's on the limo and Link now. Dives into him. Man! It was Air Link! And Link. And Link goes down to the ground. It's grabs Sagat. Hey now. Sagat. Yep. Yeah, hey, eat your food, you little fat fuck. I'll do commentary. Sagat. Sagat. Up on top of that limo. Well, now you're gonna do your job, huh? Link back up to his feet. Link climbing up the limo. They're both up on top here. Sagat with Link. Picks him up. Throws him into the crate. I think I might have broken his neck on that. This guy's got a slinky for a neck. We got less than three minutes left in this matchup. Thank God. I just want to get out of here. I want to get paid for the job, get the hell out of here. Go back to Utah, my four wives. As Bobby pointed out earlier, the final match of the night is going to be a match from hell. Will be Smash. held in the cell as Sagat leads this match here three to one. No rain delay on this one, baby. Oh, I get it. That's a joke. Close the world. And series. Link gets a point. Game five. Coming up to the two-minute warning there. Now you're talking about football. You know, jeez, this commentary session is like a bunch of monkeys fucking football. Link is tossed down there. So the guy with Link now. That car is about to blow up. With the turkey mayonnaise oh, wait a minute, and the tomatoes. No. Hey, that's my car. That's not your car. You're the size of a bus. You know what? Remember ah. that? Hey. Smash. Oh, my dear God. Got him again. On your car there. So the guy hit that belly to belly suplex. That's a shitty looking car there, Webmaster. And now he's got Link up with the military press here onto Smash. the car. No! And again, my car is taking punishment. That's a crappy car. Nice GDT by Link trying to catch up here. Three miles per gallon he hit. One mile a gallon. One minute remains. One minute? One minute a gallon. Link now is a guy. Pick him up. Nice self suplex there, like a T bone in a way. But my car! Jesus. I hate doing commentary with this guy. I need to get back to my duties being the general manager of Slammy G. Over on WadeNeedle.com. It's blocked. That kick was blocked. This is where Link's got going now. Nope. She got bricks out of it. Sagat here Scott with the advantage. Link, no, Link. Link now with Sagat. He picks him up. He's got him up, the ZDT! Yes. I'm surprised you remember the move! That was what he calls the ZDT. We are tied up here. Tied ball game. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds is left there in the match. Six Five, seconds there. Smash. Four, three, ball game. Two. One. Link Ninja. gets it in the nick of time. Link advances here in the in, into the hell in the Link cell. Link is your winner. Yeah, he's your winner. He advances in the hell in the cell here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And that's coming up next. Wow. So for that one, I obviously, as I mentioned earlier, had control of both players. And what I did was made sure that Link, the babyface in this instance, had a disadvantage throughout the entire match. And then at the very end, made the comeback and was able to win. I remember there were times where it took me a lot of takes to get it right. I had to do the match like four or five times to get it how I wanted it to get. Like if it was up to me, I would have had it 
end at the very last second, but I was scared. So I was just like five seconds left. I'm going to hit the move so Link can win this because I was afraid. I, I felt like the whole match had gone so well that I was going to take a risk waiting to the last second and then screwing it up. Now, there were times that I actually edited. I would sometimes record a match twice and then edit the first part. Like if the first part was going so well and then I screwed something up the second time, I would do the first part and then splice in the second part. And people, I don't think, really noticed because I, I made sure the health meters were looking exactly the same and you know how you can change the camera angle. So there were ways to be sneaky about it. So it appeared to be one long match, but it was actually maybe two matches or sometimes, I think a few times I actually did three, um, spliced it all together to make it look like one match. Again, I'm not sure if people knew this because I, I haven't talked about it in years. And we do have some more comments in the chat room, people talking back and forth. Virtue is here. Shout out to Virtue. And he talked about the idea of maybe doing WrestleMania, the arcade game in here. Mr. Tito might do a Wrestling Empire live stream. I might stream Wrestling Empire. That's an interesting game, but that that might be down the line. That That's for a different stream. We now have our main event of this mega event, Bragging Rights. We have the Hell in a Cell match, Fatal 4-Way. It's the match from hell between the four winners of those matches. So let's go ahead and check out the intros and then the beginning of the match, and I'll come back shortly after the match begins. Here we go. Jason Voy is here. Here is Jason Voorhees, ladies and gentlemen. Former no DQ seat of a champion comes from Crystal Lake. This is a guy you don't want to meet up with in a dark alley. That's for sure. Hey, look at this. Now here comes the Joker. Jason Voorhees was out just momentarily. A little moments ago. He defeated Captain Jack to make it this far. But there we see the Joker. He defeated Mr. Clean to make it here tonight. Joker's a bad man. Uh -huh. And this is it. Superman. There he is. Superman! Dun, 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 I love it when we do that together. Mr. Clean time. One, two, three. Mr. Clean! I thought you were supposed to sing with me. But then again, Mr. Clean it came out. And now, the final participant. Bobby Spade's favorite CW of all time. Man, there's a bunch of sausage. <laughs> sausage link up in this thing. Like a sausage fest is what it's all about. Like what you like that. Look this little bastard. I hate this guy. I hope he does not win this match. Sausage link. Well, we the match is underway here in the main event of Dragon Match. Superman with a standing side headlock. Jason breaks it up. Jason beats Sparrow early on to get into this match here in the main event. Joker beat Mr. Clean. Superman beat Freddy. And Link beats the guy. And the final four here. And the hell in the cell here. Dragon rights is what it's all about. We're going to find out who's got to get the dragon rights. Jason sits to the outside. Link runs out there to try to get him, but he goes right back in, and now oh, all four of them. One! Look at that one. There. No, just one count. Pin attempt there with that sunset flip over the top rope. 
Why did Wade have to eat during the stream? Wade, if you're still in the chat room watching this, why did you have to eat during that? Other than that, great commentary by Wade and Bobby Spade. I love Bobby Spade always ripping into Wade and making fun of him. Uh, that was great. Yeah, looking at this match, like clearly I can only control two characters. The other two are computer, and it can get a little wild and out of control. But more times than not, I was able to get it the way I wanted it to go. And again, I haven't I haven't seen this in over a decade, so I don't even remember who wins this. I'm I'm being totally honest with you guys. I do not remember who wins this. So I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of this match. Uh, let's go ahead and finish it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you follow the No DQ Twitch account and tell a friend, spread the word so we can get more people watching the streams in the future. Let's go ahead and finish up the action. Jason Voice with a roll up. One! And there's a roll up by Jason. No. So I should be one common team. I'm a better color guy. I like color guys. I'm a better color guy. I'm a raised better color guy. There's just nothing but carnage and chaos here. As these four guys are just battling on the outside in. And look at this, they both take down. All four guys on the outside fighting it. It's chaos. Hey, hey, get, get, get back. Mm. The agility of Jason there. And Link is busted open. Spade, you've been doing a lot more commentary on this show than you have in the past four years. I'm not doing commentary. I'm, I'm doing my, <laughs> my well, I'm, I'm doing commentating, yeah. All right. I'm not doing play-by-play. -play. Do your thing. Well, let's get into this thing. Do it. Jason Voorhees with that mule kick under, under Link. Oh, into the cell wall. The Joker sends Jason, but now Jason sends the Joker there. It's been busted open there. And I think that wall was taken down. It has been. Tear down the walls of Jericho. Jason just manhandling the Joker. I feel a bit of Neck breaker by Superman. On and the side. Jason Voorhees with the Joker is going to get him up here. But no, he kicks him right in the balls. The balls? Jason Voorhees has balls? Yeah, he's got balls. Everybody in the Nashville Link sausage got balls. Link now with Superman just... Oh, no, Superman blocks it. Link blocks it. Nope. Superman now with Link's got him up. And a ah, nice sit-down power bomb there by Superman on the Link. Yeah, but look at that. Joker was trying to climb and Jason Voorhees knocked him off the cell. Superman in with Link now. Gets him around. Oh, there's a kick back to the midsection. The referee finally gets down. Joker just... And look at what is Jason Voorhees... The Joker's up on the top. And now the Joker's up on top of that structure here. Superman climbing. Superman follows him up. Gonna copy Jason was going to go up there too, but Link blocked it. Picks him up, tries to fall. And him. Superman, oh no, he hangs on. Joker just trying to fight his way through this. On again there. Right back up to his feet up on the top. Superman's got Joker. And now he tries to throw the Joker. The Joker hangs on too. And now Jason finally climbing up. No. Oh, Link takes him down. Look at the arm bar up there by the Joker and the Superman. As Link and, and, and Jason Voorhees up to the top here, all four guys on the top of the hill in the cell. 
Link wants so to win the So he's got Jason up. And he steamrolls him, taking Link and the ref out in the process. Yeah, but the ref is up before Link. What the ref is back up, Link finally back up. A little Link the size can't take it. Like a fly dog back on the Superman. Things are picking up here in the Hell in the Cell match. Oh, I thought Superman was going to go for the S5, but no, he turned it into a knee in the bread basket. I thought so too. Hey, you eat a lot of bread too, don't you? I was talking about food in that commentary. So you know you're fat, you're eating food in the commentary, talking about food. Joker's just trying to get Superman off that cell. And he's got Superman. And he finally <laughs> does. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> do the announce table. Oh, jeez, come on now. What the hell? I cannot believe what we just witnessed. And now Jason, like a shark smell of blood, going to the ankle lock. Link was too slow getting under. Joker said, screw it. And he just jumped down and took them all out. Oh, wait a minute, Link. Reverse what Jason is doing. As Joker's getting back up to the top. He is the king of the mountain. Wow, look at that flying heads is up at the top there. As Link and Jason fighting it out on the bottom. And the Joker just, his, his white face turned red here with a crimson mask. Like strawberry chili. Link and Jason climbing to the top again. Looks like they're climbing up. Hey, what is going on up here? Hey, that's funny. Oh. And the referee gets caught in the way. Yeah, referee always getting in the way there. Referee Matt Daniels on his back that I can. Yeah, you tiger driver. And Superman gets sent to the glue factory. The glue factory? He's still into this match. He's getting everything all wrong. He's got Link up, and he hits him with a power bomb. Holds on to it, picks him up again. Got really and another power bomb. Oh, right through the structure there. And look at the brave ref just hop right down into the ring. Jason was chasing the, the Joker there. Link with Superman up in the corner there, turn around. Oh, it ain't no DDT. It's not the And there's a sit down power bomb into a pin combination. One, two, two, and three. No, only a two kick. I was sure that the next three kick would have been it. I was proved wrong. Jason's back down to the ringside area there. In the ring, actually. And so is the Joker. All four guys back into the ring. Inside that squared circle. Known as no DQ CAW. And there's a speedy bullet by Superman. This could be it. He's just going to make the pin. That could be it there. Take the cover. Jeez, look at that. A close line to the back of the head of the Joker. For the four. side blind him. And again, eh? And again. Superman now, oh, wait a minute. Looks like Superman tried to hit a spinning bullet on the Jason Voorhees. But he didn't get all of it. Oh, nice kick there by the Joker. That was a drop kick. That's the one one there as he comes in. And he grabs Link face first into the mat. Superman trying to take the advantage of the match. The only man standing up right now. And now. Oh, there's, there's Jason. Jason into the ropes. No, wait a minute. Oh. Neckbreaker. Jeez. Superman now kicking away. Jason, no. Link picks him up to his feet. It's the beauty. Superman's got the Joker. He's got him up here. He spins around the S5. The S5, that's it. That is it. The S5, this could be it. Wait a minute, look at Jason. Jason, Jason goes him over there. Superman Jason's going to get it one. One, two, one, two, two and three. Link get down. Link gets down. Link, Superman gets the win. Oh, Superman. 
Superman is your winner! I cannot believe this! Congratulations to Superman! Crucified for eternal sin Reinvent myself Shed my altar skin All right, so Superman picked up the win, and I think I was playing Superman and Jason. I definitely would not have no sold falling all the way down the cell like Link did, but when you have the, the finisher, when you're in that finisher mode, you automatically get up from moves, and the computer just gets up anyways. But the ending was definitely how I wanted it to play out. I wanted that double pin. I, I had Superman hit the S5, his finisher, and then Jason went to pin Link. So there was the double pin to make you wonder what's going to happen there. And of course, Superman picked up the win. Uh, so thank you guys again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed the insight. Let me know what you would like to see next. Other no DQCAW events, other video games. Let me know. Leave a comment and tweet me with any ideas or suggestions. Take care, everybody. Stay tuned to NoDQ.com for the very latest wrestling news and rumors, and I will see you guys next time.